I'm Ken Gross. I've been a Pebble Beach judge for 28 years. I'm on the selection committee, and one of my classes this year is called Dream Cars of the 1960s. Some fabulous, very individualized, hand-built, out-of-this-world cars. This was an era when designers could really be free-thinking. They weren't worried about safety, about DOT, about uh, fuel economy, and so forth. Most people were really interested in bringing their cars because they're so unusual. They're not the type of car you have at Pebble. That's what's so terrific, that uh, we're not just Duesenbergs and Galages. We are interesting cars, creative expression, the future past, if you will. Uh, I think it's great. Pebble Beach has a wide embrace for cars like this. I'm Gene Winfield. I'm from Mojave, California, and I was raised in Modesto, California, and uh, I still build cars. Uh, last month I just turned 90 years old, and I still build and paint cars all over the world. And Ken invited me to bring this car to Pebble Beach, and I thought it was just wonderful. I built this car in 1965, so it was on Bewitched. They wrote a complete episode for this car on Bewitched, and uh, it was just fabulous. Then um, Eartha Kitt drove it as the Catwoman on the Batman series in 1966. Well, I wanted something that was radical and futuristic in 1965. I have a convertible mechanism for the top, it raises the top up and it's hydraulic, so it, it does creep down. And I have this power, electric power for the door. And then the hood also. Hi, my name is Frank Campanelli. Yeah, so, so this car was really a design exercise that was done by a, an engineer and designer named Paul Fargo and uh, Sergio Cogelo, who both were at Caraceria Ghia in Italy. It was based on a, a 1969 Pontiac a Grand Prix drivetrain. Uh, there was uh, some John DeLorean involvement in it, but John was uh, looking for something that was very exaggerated and, uh, and would grab attention uh, in the event that he could pull off an idea that he had to try to bring Pontiac to Europe at that time. My name's Herb Adams, design and build the Vivant. So, you know, I had experience designing models, and so I kind of was in that flavor. And uh, after I got out of college, I had, you know, two dollars. I was able to, to build a chassis, and then I think I mentioned I ran into the guys who uh, did the body work, and they really made it happen because they rolled the aluminum rather than beat on it. So I showed it a couple times after we built it, and uh, it was in a barn for 30 years or something. And uh, Mark, uh, you know got a hold of the pictures and got enthusiastic and, and restored it, which is a terrific project. 